Hello YouTube, it is I, Banded Wendy, on Wednesday, the 9th of March 2011. And I am posting up two videos that I mentioned earlier this week. The first one is going to be about P90X. I believe it was day four and, that I spoke about the most and that I was doing day five. Yesterday was day six, which was Kenpo, uh, which was great. Um, a lot of intense movement and uh, I was happy about it. And today was day seven and uh, it was rest stretch and I did a 5K and uh, I stretched. So uh, seven days down, 83 more to go. So I start uh, week two tomorrow. I'm excited about feeling really good about the program and I can already see within my body some uh, muscle definition. Uh, and totally so happy that I'm going gung-ho with this because the Couch to 5K was a great program for me to get started with fitness and running because all I had to do was listen and execute, right? It was a no-brainer. I feel the same way to a certain extent about the P90X. It's like having your own trainer but in your home uh, and it's intense so I'm really enjoying it. The second take in here is going to be my thoughts about protein and calories and eating until our hunger goes away or satisf being satisfied with food, uh, our visual uh, outlook on food, uh, how much is in front of us even when we have our portions controlled. So I uh, would love some feedback uh, from any of you with regard to how you think about those calories and the protein. And I really count protein before I ever count calories and I mentioned that in the video. So anyway, those are the two clips and um, just me thinking and talking and documenting my P90X journey. So have a great night. I'll talk to you later. Thank you. Bye. Hello YouTube. It is I, Banded Wendy, on Monday the... I believe it is the 7th of March uh, 2011 and uh, I am here to report day 4 P90X uh, was Yoga X 93 minutes. Um, I took yoga six years ago and it's been a long time and whew, I gotta tell you there were several times during that workout yesterday I did it on Sunday day 4 that I was like what the why? Am I nuts? Push pause? Think about this? Walk around? Decide if I'm going to continue? Do I really need to do this? Um, I can, you know, it's hard. It was really hard. Like, it's like mental mindset, mus muscles in motion, turning and twisting, doing crazy, like, ah. Um, so I can only imagine to progress, right, and getting better at it as I do it. It was a very hard challenge for me, harder than any of the workouts thus far in the P90X was the Yoga X. But I did it, all 93 minutes, um, even though I stumbled, I crashed, I nearly gave up, you know, but then I thought, if I give up now, you know, what about next week and the weeks after that? And you know, give it your best shot, Wendy, because you're doing this for a purpose. You're doing this for a reason. And you don't have to be the best at it right now, you know? So anyway, I did it. I got through it and uh, crazy, just crazy. Today is legs and what else? Legs and back. So today is day five, P90X, legs and back. And I think it's an hour long workout. I'm about to get that started. I just got done on the treadmill. I ran a 5K in 28 minutes and 56 seconds, so I was pushing it. 375 calories in that amount of time, and then I walked it out for about three and a half, four more minutes uh, to get a 401 calorie burn. So that was my running for the day. I think I'm going to run Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, and maybe a long run on Saturdays. Eh, not sure, um, but that's what it's looking like right now through the P90X program. I want to show you my outfit. I hope to look better in this by the time I get done with P90X. Uh, this outfit is new for me. Size small. Been wearing a medium size sports bra. I got a small size sports bra on. I'm okay with that. I used to be a 44 triple D. Now I'm a, or a 2XL in sports bras. Now I'm a small in sports bras and I'm a 36 to a 38 B in bras. Um, I'm okay with that. I get the Miraculous Prunge from 
Victorian Secret, and all of a sudden I got two cup sizes bigger, so I go back up to a D. Um, and I feel normal that way. I look large to other people when they see me because my body is so small, comparatively to my boobs when I wear the bra, the plunge. Thank you, Victoria. Um, but you know what? I'm okay with having my boobs. They're mine, you know? And uh, they were pretty much just fat before, <laughs> you know? And they were big. Um, and uh, this, you know, this is a small shirt and small pants. And there's this, you know, you saw it in my video. So I'm hoping that through P90X, I get rid of some of that, right? I'm not necessarily trying to lose a bunch of weight. I'm at my goal weight. I'm below my goal weight. But I'm just trying to tone and firm, and that's my problem area right there, really. That's my worst one. I could live with everything else. So here I go, day five. Um, wish me luck. Have a good one. Bye. Hello, YouTube. It is I, Banded Wendy. I don't know where I'm going to throw this video in. It's Saturday, um, the 5th of March. Crazy video making, I know. But uh, calories, protein, uh, portion control, using our tool, our minds and our bodies being connected, um, the flavor, the quantity, the value, the nutrition, the desire to eat, all associated with food, right? That's on my mind. Uh, I've always been pretty good at controlling my portions. Um, I've always been pretty good about knowing my calories and my protein. And I've talked about it in multiple videos, you know. Stop when you're no longer hungry. Stop when you feel satisfied. Push the food away. Christina, Matai83 said when she, the hunger pain went away, she poured her water on the food great tip that I have done. Um, I'm in this area where I'm not really weighing myself all the time uh, and uh, even though I'm still supporting people with their journeys, uh, calories and protein, I got mine. You know, I keep an awareness of it but it can become very daunting when uh, for about a year now I've tracked every single thing I've eaten uh, day in and day out and documented that not just for myself, but anywhere from two to six people every day. So it gets a little overwhelming and exhausting. So I'm taking a little bit of a break from that and still documenting, but more importantly, uh, USA LB Girl uh, reminded me, and my flashlight came on, that when I count my calories and protein, and I document it, uh, and I feel good about the amount of protein and the calories I'm getting from that protein, I also allow myself to feel like it's okay to eat it all. And a lot of times my band stops me, depending on the food and the time of day when I'm eating and how fast I eat it, it stops me from going beyond knowing what that hum when the hunger goes away, right? When I'm finally satisfied. Um, but I found by not necessarily documenting the calories and protein so much, I'm relying on my tool, my lap band more. And I'm not necessarily eating it because I can. I'm eating it because I'm hungry. And then as soon as the hunger pain goes away, I'm stopping. And I just had an example. I made a really fabulous pepperoni, low-fat mozzarella cheese salad. And uh, I burned like 1,300, 1,500 calories today already, right? So I, I, I can eat that. Forget associating the calories in versus calories out in this same example. That salad was so good, right? An Italian dressing from my hometown in Ohio that I brought back with me. And uh, somebody sent me a BBM commenting on the salad because I documented it. Um, and it made me stop. Thank you for BBM, right? It made me stop and say, you know what? This is a perfect example of I'm satisfied. I do not eat another bite, right? And as many of you know, there can be that one bite or two bites more and you've gone over the edge with your weight loss surgery tool. I don't like for that to happen, right? So what did I do? There was still salad left. It still tastes delicious. I could totally eat the calories and the protein, but I got mine. You know, my tool said, eh, you're good, Wendy. You're no longer hungry. You got X amount of time left in the day. You will eat again. So what did I do with that salad? Bam, in the trash can, right? That is something that I just want to put out there, right? 
that if you are documenting your calories and protein, and I like to think of it as protein and calories, quite honestly, um, great, right? For me, at that last 20 pound mark, it was essential. I don't know if it was a mental thing or if it was true science in my body, but I had to be exact with those calories. Now I'm maintaining, I'm actually losing weight, right? Uh, below my goal weight at this point, and I don't necessarily need to know that information all the time. And it's a long life. You know, my husband, he doesn't count calories or protein on a piece of paper or document it for anybody, and he's been successful with his R and Y for eight years. He knows what to eat, he knows when to eat, and he knows how much to eat, right? And I think it's a habit, it's all habitual. We learn, we relearn, we learn, we relearn. And uh, that's where I'm at, right? So I just want to put that out there. I'm so thankful USA LB Girl worded it the way she did because it made me remind myself of a conversation I had here with you guys on YouTube and a practice that I had and whether that all makes sense or not about the proteins and the calorie and your portion control and the taste and the quantity and the desire, think about it, right? Because I, 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 I know that it means something. So I'm moving on, and uh, I hope you guys got something from this message. Talk to you later. Bye.